We have the law, the 2019 law, or Human Trafficking uh, Act, which was passed. It is a very good act, very robust. But you know, as a law, you find that most of the time, it is just, they don't give you the details how to go about handling them. So you find that the different prosecutors, different investigators understand it differently and do things differently. So we are putting the guidelines in order to guide them, to help them. If you read these guidelines, they are more detailed. They even give you of how to charge, what is there to, to, to put in the charge, in the charge sheet. What is the, when you're reading a file, what are the red flags that you see in a file and say this is human trafficking. So you have all the elements uh, mentioned out there. So there's no way that a prosecutor or even an investigator is going to not fail to actually see that this particular case is either an aggravated defilement or it is a case of trafficking in persons. And we know that victims of trafficking are traumatized. They go through a lot of trauma. So we look at the whole package that we want to prevent it, but once it comes into the system, we want to treat them with a, with a, a sort of a, a trauma lenses that these people have gone through a lot. Let's not re-traumatize them. And then we also want to see that after they go through the court system, are they going to, are, they, are we just going to release them into the, 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 the public like that? Because we, then we create a cycle these are the people who will maybe even start trafficking themselves. So we want them healed.